So we've seen in the lecture that the question about human uniqueness, the question about the relationship between human life uh, and other forms of life is a fascinating issue at the interface between science, theology and ethics. We've looked briefly at the question of the possibility of extraterrestrial life and uh, the views of some that that would present some kind of problem for a, a, a Christian or other religious understanding of the world. We looked at the question of human evolutionary origins and the way that became a site of contest between uh, science and Christian theology. And then we've looked at the question about how human capacities relate to the capacities of other non-human animals that we find uh, around us today and the way in which uh, it's very hard and much harder than we've previously thought to establish the human difference, uh, the difference that uh, creates uh, a boundary between human life uh, and other kinds of life. I've also argued that uh, on my understanding of uh, a Christian theological engagement with uh, some of these scientific questions, that it's not necessary to see Christian theology uh, at odds uh, with science and there's a way of engaging with uh, a Christian understanding about God's uh, creation of uh, myriad forms of creaturely life uh, and Christian understandings about God's engagement with that life in relation to the incarnation and redemption. Uh, that means we need not necessarily be trapped with a Christian over preoccupation with uh, human uniqueness. And then finally, I've suggested there might be ethical implications to engaging uh, with this question. But once we try to think seriously about our relationships with non-human life and the way in which we share important forms of life and have important uh, attributes in common, both in a scientific and a theological context, we might be provoked to think differently about the current uses that we're making of uh, animals. I hope you agree with me that uh, these questions about the relationship between human life and other forms of life uh, is a fascinating example of the way science, theology uh, and ethics uh, uh, engage in uh, conversation and uh, dialogue. I really hope you enjoy uh, your studies uh, in the rest of the module and find uh, this uh, a really engaging uh, question uh, to pursue on your own.